at Matthew chapter 19 verse 3 and 4. The Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him and saying unto him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? For and he answered and said unto them, Have you not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? <laughs> they came to Jesus and asked him a question about divorce. About divorce. Observe. When they approached Jesus in verse 3, they were quoting the Old Testament to him. To put away his wife for every cause. Then he said in verse 4, which is Genesis. Have you not read that when he met them at the beginning? Okay. Now look at verse 5 and 6. And said, for this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife and they twain shall be one flesh. Next verse. Wherefore, they are no more twain but one flesh. What therefore God had joined together. Let no man put asunder. Pay attention to what Jesus is saying and what Jesus is not saying. Look at verse 6 again. Matthew 19. Wherefore, they are no more twin, but one flesh. What therefore God had joined together, let no man put asunder. That statement is not in any Old Testament text. That statement in verse 6 is not in any Old Testament text. But verse 4 and 5 are found in the book of Genesis. But verse 6 is not found anywhere in the Old Testament. Now listen carefully. If you miss this one, you shouldn't have listened to this teaching at all. In the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 18 to 24. Genesis 2 18 to 24. The first thing you will notice is. Adam did not leave father and mother. Uh, uh. Uh. Pastor Jerome, are you saying? Huh? Adam did not leave father and mother. Mm. So if Adam did not leave father and mother, that means that statement in Genesis has a wider meaning. Matthew 19, 7. Oh, they say unto Jesus, Why did Moses then command to give a writing of divorcement and to put her away? They quoted Deuteronomy 24, verse 1. Jesus quoted Genesis 2. These people were dumb men. Jesus is talking Genesis. They are talking Deuteronomy. In the way the books were written, which one came first? Genesis. After Genesis, Exodus. After Exodus, Leviticus. After Leviticus, Numbers. After Numbers, Deuteronomy. So between Genesis and Deuteronomy, you have four books. <laughs> so within the four books, certain things have happened. So they said... Why then did Moses give a bill of divorcement? Jesus now responded and said, Moses in Deuteronomy. After what God said in Genesis, many years have passed. Because of the hardness of your heart, sclerocardian, suffered you to put away your wives. But from the beginning, it was not so. Moses because of the hardness of your heart where was hardness of hearts the book of numbers numbers where the children of israel rebelled against the gospel he said moses because of the hardness of your heart sclerocardian a refusal to believe the gospel allowed you to put away but who does not put away God does not put away. So that means 
the divorcement is a reflection of man's heart so which one reflects what god does marriage or divorce marriage which one reflects what man does divorce man divorces god keeps his marriage man divorces god keeps his marriage stay with me so what god does is marriage who puts away man in the hardness of his heart genesis 2 18 <laughs> i'm almost done stay with me genesis 2 18 and the lord god said it is not good that the man should be alone hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. i will make him an help meet for him this is very vital because we're going to talk about marriage in this series we have people who have written books that the wife is the help meet for the man not true again anybody who reads this portion in that light that the wife is the help meet has read it like a pharisee the word help meet here in the hebrew is the word ezer ezer e-z-e-r ezer is ezer is used for someone who rescues you when you are in danger someone who rescues you when you are in danger one who rescues in danger that's the meaning of help me one who rescues in danger so a help meet is one who rescues in danger everywhere that word is used in the old testament it is used for god not for a woman so god is man's help meet not your wife so already from genesis chapter 2 is clear that what moses was talking about is god's salvation plan one who rescues you from danger so god's salvation plan can be explained by using marriage so marriage can be used to explain god's salvation plan whereas divorce is used to explain unbelief marriage is used to explain god's salvation plan divorce is used to explain unbelief so we are not to primarily read marriage in that genesis 2 18 we are primarily to read about salvation because the help meet for man is jesus christ and jesus is not your wife the help meet for man is jesus christ marriage therefore explains the resurrection the resurrection of jesus is marriage so first of all the resurrection means that we are united with jesus in marriage number two it means we are united with jesus in the same womb so jesus will relate with us as in a marriage that does not divorce jesus will relate with us as in a marriage that does not divorce 